uh, when I came to uh, Arizona, when I first wanted to explore this country with the light and the colors of, of the sun mm -hmm. and the sky. You know, and so that was the same room in the evening and during the day and there too, like that. And the raven is in the healing mode of dealing with something that it remembered from the time it was a child. But another person can come along and say, oh, no, 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 that's not what that is. So there we are with expressive art, you see. It's, it's really wonderful. And I almost don't want to put signs to next to it saying such and such is the name of this drawing or painting. It limits the imagination of people. Right. And that's sad. And here is the, the woman sh sh shape-shifting, as the word is called, into a deer. And uh, you see the deer has little arms right there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's being encouraged by the, the woman, the spirit woman, to jump, right. to leap into a new life, one that is much lighter than she was born into. It's a goddess underwater. So it's actually being drowned under the water. At that time, that goddess must have felt she was dying. At times, I just have to express it like that, you know? This is not what a tree looks like, right? Yeah. You know, and this is not what a house looks like. It's, it's just everything, I just see the color. And that's what people did in that fourth movement before uh, World War II. They, 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 they paint it and drew like this, and they call it Fauve. And this is a, a shamanic a teacher, this woman, who I met in um, Mexico, part of the Huchul Indians. Taking um, pastels or whatever you have and um, just let things come out. This is a uh, part of the uh, paintings that I'm making and drawings for the festivities of, of the year, seen in the Celtic tradition. And this is in bulk, which is uh, uh, February the 1st. And it's the very, very first awareness of light energy and healing energy coming from the sky into the earth. I would watch the deer to see what they would, how they would live. And, or I would go into the woods and they would be out there in a cave or something and I would, I would watch them so I could see what I could learn from the deer. And so the deer, the whole deer story got me out of this, this being in hiding.